Hello and welcome to Moving Around, the first MovieStorm tutorial. This tutorial was designed for MovieStorm version Early Access 104. I'm going to show you how to move around the set and how to get a better view on what's going on. When you start a new movie, or when you load an existing MovieStorm movie, you'll start off in the Director's View, which is this view here. You can move around the Director's View using the W, S, A, and D keys. And those are the same keys that are used in a lot of PC and Mac computer games, so you might well be familiar with those already. But an easier way to move around the set is by left-clicking and dragging, like this. So the idea is to left-click and pull the ground in the direction of your mouse. And if you have a little play with that, you'll soon get used to it. You can rotate to get a view from a different angle by simply right-clicking and dragging, like this. That rotates around a central point. You can see the red line there represents the point around which I'm rotating. If you want to quickly zoom around your set, you can move quickly to a point that you want to focus on by holding down the Shift key and right-clicking on that point, like this. That zooms you right over to the point that you just focused on there. I'll just show you that once more. I'm going to zoom to this point here. Hold down Shift, right click, and there we go. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. You can zoom right in, and you can zoom right the way out and take a look at your set in full as well. If you want to move any of the objects on set to better position them or to change them for your own purposes, you can do so. But first of all, you'll need to switch to the Set Workshop view, which you can do using this button at the top here. We're now in the Set Workshop view. Now all the controls for moving around still function. I can left-click and drag to move myself around the set, and I can right-click to rotate. I can zoom in, and I can zoom out, and the clever Shift-Right-Click trick still works. I'll bring myself in a little bit closer to the piano still there. I'm going to move this object around. Now to move an object, you need to hold down the shift key and then left click and drag. You can see the piano and the still the one object there. And if I left click and drag, I can move those to wherever I fancy. Release the button and they're play there on set. You can rotate an object as well. All you need is the control key and the left click to rotate the object to any angle around 360 degrees, like this. And again, when you release the button, the object is placed. You can use those same commands for any of the objects on set. You can move your actors as well, but not in quite the same way. Let me just move to Dorothy, who's my only actor in this scene here. And you can see that Dorothy has a little mark at the bottom of her feet there. Uh, and that's her first mark. And it's put there because I placed her on set using a placed here command before I started this recording. In order to move actors, you need to switch back to the director's view. Which you can do by clicking on the camera icon there. Once you're back in the director's view, you can move the actors around using the same commands that you use to move set objects in the set workshop view. Shift and left click to move the mark around and therefore the character. Control and left click to rotate the mark and therefore the character. The crucial thing to remember here is that I'm not moving the character, I'm moving the mark. So that will only affect Dorothy's initial starting position. Any subsequent actions I might have given her will be completely unaffected by that move. And those few commands are all you need to know to move around in Movie Storm. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to give your characters instructions to get them to do what you want them to do. Thanks for watching.